Do you guys need Madden Mobile and Madden Ultimate Team coins? Well head on over to Z2U.com to get the safest and cheapest Madden coins. Links are in the description, fellas. What's good everybody? And I already know the question you guys have been thinking. Oh, the coming attraction! What if Captain America played football in the NFL as a quarterback? Well, fellas, we're about to figure it out. Before we get started, though, I would just like to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel lately as we're almost to a 1,000 subscribers, guys. The road to a 1,000 is so close that I can almost taste it. But if you guys do enjoy the content, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see me do this with any more superheroes, be sure to leave it down in the comment section below. And if you guys do want to see me do this with another superhero, let's get this video to, say, 30 likes. Now, let's get into it. As I said, though, we're creating Captain America, putting him at quarterback, and we're going to try and make this as realistic as possible. Possible. We made him number 76 because America was founded in 1776. Cap went to Empire State University, so the closest thing we could do to that was Emporia State. Cap was born on the 4th of July, so that's what we made him. And it said he was born in Brooklyn, New York, so that's what we made him. In terms of Captain America's measurables, he comes in at around 6'2", 220 pounds, so that's exactly what we made it, trying to make it realistic. Captain America comes in at a 96 overall, which is great, but he's not really known for his superpowers per se, like a Spider-Man or a Superman would be. But these are some of the things that he does have. He has the ability to lift Thor's hammer, so we put his strength really high. He has enhanced sight, so I interpreted that as ball carrier vision, even though he's a quarterback. Accelerated healing, so obviously his injuries all the way up. And then he also has enhanced speed, stamina, durability, and agility so we put all those up to about 90s because we don't want him to be as fast as the flash because that's just not realistic but what he also has is advanced mental processing via the super soldier serum so what we took that as is awareness and then we put his play action all the way up because he can trick his enemies and then obviously he's known for throwing that shield so we put his deep medium and short throw accuracy at 92 throw on the run at 90 and then his throw power at a whopping 97 as i said before all those stats bring him to a 96 overall but now it's time to see how he performs here we are now with mighty steve rogers mr captain america and he's coming out first play we're gonna run some play action roll out right with him he's gonna throw it on the run and it's caught what a laser beam splitting the defense right there very impressive by captain america on his first play from scrimmage second and ten now captain america coming out deep in the pocket how are you gonna stop it he's rolling out left getting pressured it doesn't matter though it's captain america he throws it on a laser beam it's complete and he gets into the end zone that's Captain America's first touchdown already on the day. And look at him just poised in the pocket. He's a leader. That's what he does. He's the leader of the Avengers and he can lead a football team. Very next drive. First and 10. He's rolling out right. He's just going to keep this one by himself. And look at the superhuman speed. He's going. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. And they can't bring him down. He's just too freaking good. Let's go, Cap. First and 10 again. He's rolling out left. It looks like he has a man downfield. He's going to throw, and it's a perfect pass right to the corner of the end zone for his second touchdown on the day. Oh, my goodness, fellas. He's a freaking beast. And if you guys couldn't tell already, the Bills are playing the role of Captain America's villain as Red School, but they are just no match for him as he's taking off again, breaks another tackle, makes a man miss with a joke, and oh, my goodness, Captain America is a freaking monster. Oh my goodness, fellas, first down. First and 10 now, two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Captain America leads 14 to three against Red School. He's throwing it to the end zone and that's another touchdown. What a catch. His superpowers are rubbing off on his own teammates. Oh my goodness, what a play, what a throw. The accuracy on that ball was unbelievable. It looked like he was throwing his shield. 21 to three now, a minute and 45 to go in the first half. Captain America deep in the pocket. How are you gonna stop it? He's gonna let it go. Nope. And it's intercepted by Red Skull. Red Skull gets an interception on Captain America and they have a chance to go down and score. And that's exactly what they do. Red Skull scores, it's 21 to 10 now. We have a chance to score before half though with Captain America. He throws a pump fake. He's just gonna get it out quickly. That's completed and that's gonna be a first down. Time running down, 13 seconds left in the half, scores 21 to 10, Captain America's gonna keep it, he's gonna take it off, and he leaps into the end zone for another touchdown on the day. Look at him flexing his muscles, he's huge. The dive into the end zone was very clutch right before half. It's 28 to 28 now though in the second half as Red School has rallied back. Captain America needs to have an answer, I think he does wide open on the right side, it's thrown, it's caught and he's gonna be able to walk into the end zone right here as we're stunting our way into the end zone. 
That's going to be an easy touchdown. Maybe the easiest one for Captain America on the day. 75-yard passing touchdown. Let's go. Very next possession. Very next play on offense. 35-28. Captain America on the run to his back. He throws it. It's caught across his body. That had to be a 70-yard throw down the field across his body. What a freaking throw. You would think the ball is the shield. Unreal. Red Skull refuses to go away though, he battles back, it's 42 to 42, we're in an absolute dogfight with Captain America, but I would rather have no one else leading my team, he's rolling out right, he throws it, it's completed, he breaks the tackle, can he scurry into the end zone, he's gonna get brought down inside the 5 yard line, 3 minutes to go in the 4th quarter. Here we go now, two and a half minutes left, third and goal, Captain America throws it across the middle and that's going to be a touchdown and that's going to give him a late lead in the fourth quarter, let's go. Time is of the essence now though as it's 49 to 49 with under two minutes to go, we're going to start this game winning drive off with a screen pass, he makes a man miss and look at him fighting for his captain. Captain America is really rubbing off on his teammates with his amazing leadership, great way to start the game winning drive. Second and ten now, Captain America deep in the pocket, he finds his receiver over the middle, he's going, he's running. We need to hurry up though man, we don't have much time, we're gonna go play action right here using his mental. Nope. He breaks the tackle, only a play Captain America can do, he gets the ball off and that's also completed, oh my goodness, inside the ten yard line. Let's go. Here we are now, to win the game, 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter, Captain America drops back, he throws it. And he dives into the end zone, and that's going to be another touchdown. The game-winning touchdown for Captain America and the New England Patriots and all of the United States. What a freaking game, and what a performance by Captain America. Could not be matched by any other superhero. What a performance by Captain America, showing again why he's the leader of the Avengers as he went 22 for 31, 534 yards and 7 passing touchdowns. Had that one interception, but it's okay. It just showed his perseverance and why he's a true leader. Also had 74 yards on the ground and one rushing touchdown. What a game. That is going to do it for this one though, fellas. If you did enjoy the content, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as we have many more fun challenges like this coming on the channel, guys. Like I said, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support lately on the channel. It's truly amazing, so humbling. But as always, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I'm becoming a traction.